Hey guys, welcome back to another F1 2021 My Team video here for Cross Team Cross GT Racing. Uh, before we start the video, if you are enjoying these videos, um, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, uh, comment, let me know what you think, uh, what you've thought of everything so far, what you think uh, we should be doing going forward, um, or just spam the comments or whatever because YouTube likes when people interact with videos uh, if you're new to these videos then welcome along uh, do consider looking uh, back at the beginning and watching the series from the start see where we we began and how we managed to get to here uh, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel please do hit that subscribe button it would really help me out and yeah thanks for coming along and joining the journey or continuing the journey if you have been watching this from the start so uh let's just head straight into our facilities so uh we are just preparing now for round six the uh canadian grand prix r d uh first and foremost we taken a look at so we are the car is doing pretty well at the moment uh, I'm really happy with how it's performing I'm just not happy with how uh, I'm performing as a driver we've had uh, mistakes in almost every race so far I think bar one race where we actually ran a pretty clean race and um, I think that was the one we managed to get some points in uh, I can't actually remember what race that was now uh, but focusing on aerodynamics and chassis as we um, have something we have to deal with here in powertrain it's either uh, drop the team morale or spend some money the either way we get a 50% discount on that part there so we'll take that spend a little bit of cash keep some happy Canadian Grand Prix as we start to advanced time ahead to round six this one here is I have no network connection apparently this one here uh, this is this is a race I've been looking forward to uh, for a little while now we are uh, getting some wear on some of our parts we're gonna make sure that we have uh, all new parts well not all new parts the uh turbocharger and the um, ice are okay for now but we're gonna make sure everything else is good because if you have been watching from the beginning you may remember that last season we managed to get pole position in qualifying here at in the canadian grand prix however our race ended prematurely due to a mechanical failure with the uh with one of the mgu Parts. I think it might have been the MGUH possibly but uh yeah so uh, we were in a really good position in season one to actually get a points finish at this race which would have been I do believe our first points finish of the season but it was not meant to be so I am really looking forward to this one because our car has been performing really well so I reckon we could actually do really well here uh, and maybe even uh, get a little bit of redemption uh, not only on last year but for the earlier rounds we've had this season as we head into qualifying now Lance Stroll straight away with the fastest lap, um, just put in the fastest lap. Good job. and now we've just taken that away from him although in saying that uh, he was the first to complete his lap, so he was always going to have the fastest lap. So, uh, this track here, uh, we uh, had some pretty good runs through here, through Sector 1. Sector 1's pretty strong for us in practice, as we just set the fastest Sector 1 time there. Uh, again, it's, it's early on in the qualifying session, so of course we're probably going to be putting in some... Uh, best times as Hamilton now takes the fastest lap sitting on pole we're still sitting P2 
as we come around the tight right hander at turn 10 we go wide we go pretty wide cap the wall luckily no front wing damage there we're still on track here for a for our fastest lap uh, of qualifying late breaking we can kind of cut across these Bottas now not Bottas oh yeah Bottas now taking pole Verstappen P2 we finish with a 111.6 which in the end is good enough for P8 which uh, is good for us I mean we're only three tenths off Verstappen's pace Rosberg ending up uh, one second uh, well one 1.1 seconds off the pace back in P14 uh, he's starting to drop back a little bit so I may have to take a look at what is going on with him Maybe his focus is down, maybe his other stats have dropped, I'm not sure. But, uh, or maybe it's just the car isn't quite where it needs to be for him. Uh, but we're P8, we're sitting uh, in the points right now at, at the start. So let's see if we can get a little bit of redemption on last season. Welcome to the Ile Notre Dame once again for what promises to be another incredible Canadian Grand Prix and a fiercely competitive circuit where pole position can often be decided by less than a tenth of a second. We'll be seeing top speeds of around 210 miles an hour here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve with around two thirds of the lap taken at full throttle. High speed chicanes spell potential danger, especially at the infamous Wall of Champions. And watch out for overtaking into the hairpin and the final chicane. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Leclerc, Sergio Perez and Norris, Sainz, the captain, Ricardo and Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Ocon, Lance Stroll and Rosberg, Sonoda, Schwartzman, George Russell and Antonio Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, Joe, Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Thanks, Jeff. I think we'll do pretty well here today. Car's performing pretty well. And we did pretty well here last season with the laps we were able to do before we had to retire. So I'm quietly confident that we'll be able to get some points in this race. We really do need more points. So uh, I reckon a top 10 finish isn't out of, out of the question here. Starting off on the softs, seven laps and then two stints on the mediums. I think uh, a lot of the other drivers will probably be doing the same thing here in this race, a high speed course. Five red lights, we're off and away for the Canadian Grand Prix. Not a very good start from us as Ricardo just comes straight up the inside of us, heading into turn one. Bit of contact there, we're now being pushed around by the McLarens. We lose the back end a little bit, which gives Ricardo the opening he needs. We've still got the inside heading down into turn five. No, turn three, sorry, I'm getting way ahead of myself. But we have to relinquish the position of Ricardo. We go down the inside. Down the inside at turn six. We managed to get that position back, jostling with the McLaren there. He's still closing on us though. Oh, this battle is going on. As he gets back in front of us again. 
foot down to the floor, full speed down to the tight right hander at 10. We've got Gasly looking up the inside, but he thinks better of it. These things look like they're starting to settle down a little bit now. These last two high speed straights, full speed, late braking heading into the chicane. Cheeky cuts there. Things have now settled down a bit as we've all gotten into our rhythm after lap one. We're now sitting P9. Still in the points. Three laps completed now. No changes to uh, positioning so far, I do believe, in the top ten. We're right on Ricardo. We're half a second behind him. We've been following him for the last couple of laps. We have the run on him through here. Sector 1. These guys always seem to slow down. Heading around turn 5. They ease off a little bit. Oh, we got a little bit wide there, but we managed to get the job done. Let's take another look. Right down the inside. We break a little bit later. We get the job done. Not a very clean exit. We have to ease off a little bit to get around there. But we managed to jump up into P8. And for that little... Uh, when we cut off Ricardo there on that pass. We managed to get a big enough gap. That he's now outside of DRS range. As the, the packs are starting to bunch up a little bit here. Turn 10. Little tap on the back of Leclerc's car. No front wing damage for us. We get DRS, but now we've put Ricardo back into DRS range for that little mistake. But we've just got so much more speed into the pits now. We're following Leclerc into the pits. He will be jumping onto a fresh set of medium tyres, I do believe. So he's in. He'll be finishing his pit stop up right now. We're coming in. We'll be coming out behind Go. him. Now. We're yep, on the we'll pop out Please. just Please. behind him. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this strategy. Cheers, Jeff, as we rejoin the race. In P21, ahead of Mazepin. So even after our first pit stop, Mazepin are uh, still behind us. Can we now try and go? Can we make a run on the clear? Down the inside here to turn six. We managed to get it done. P20. Nice work. That brings you up a place. Just breezing past the Ferrari there. We're now following along behind Latifi, who is also on mediums. Take a look down the inside in here to turn 10. Late braking. We lock up the wheels. We managed to get around nicely, so now we've put some get uh, a bit of a gap. Uh, another car in between ourselves and the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. So now, if he wants to catch up to us, he'll have to try and pass Latifi as well. Hopefully, he can hold him up uh, enough that we can get away. As some of the other cars start heading into the pits now, so there's some free positions for us. Good We're job. now. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. And now up in P14, fastest lap of the race on mediums as Hamilton rejoins the race out of the pits. We're side by side heading down into turn three. We manage to hold him out. We get past him. Now we're going to make another move for up the outside of Joe heading into turn five. We almost clipped the wall, but we managed to get the job done. P13. Wow, what a passage. A passage of racing this was. Side by side with the Mercedes. He tries to cut across. He gives us the space. He has to ease off to let us go. And we have the better run out of that turn than Joe. And we just put the foot down and get straight past him. Two positions done. And three corners. P11. As we come right up alongside Joe Venetti. We try to go around the outside of him at turn 10. We manage to get in front of him. But he will have DRS. On Russell, so he gets that position back. As Rosberg's now in the pits. Just peeling off into the pits now. He's in the pits. Good run through there. Another free position from, well, a bunch of free positions now. 
another fastest lap a 113.7 we're now P6 Bottas rejoining the race oh it's a replay of the last time alongside the Mercedes this time Bottas gets the better of us and he gets the better of the Alfa Romeo but we have a better run than both we almost hit the wall again around the outside we managed to get another two positions there again and the Alfa Romeo full victim to cross GT race and have another look as we come around two and two now we're right behind Joe we're side by side with Bottas but he has a bit exit out of the pit lane then as teammate did last time he gets around Joe we get around the outside of Bottas in turn five and we managed to get the job done cheeky little cut there at turn six didn't get a penalty for that thankfully now we're right up behind Russell Russell currently in fourth Verstappen is uh, 2.6 2.7 seconds ahead of him and we get on the inside at the exit of turn two Russell has a good exit as well turns three and four we get held up by Russell which affects our ability to get past him we just go on the outside at five he's still there though he's right alongside us but we managed to, oh, a little bit of a slide there but we managed to hold on to it there we go P4 now three and a half seconds now to Verstappen is now pulls in front of Russell but they hold each other up that's now a second that they lost there Bottas still within the second behind us we're now uh, 0.7 seconds behind Schwarzman so Verstappen's jumped up into second now as Bottas gets a fastest lap so he has slowly gained it on us there thanks to the DRS but sector one is where we can open up that gap great run through three and four there Schwarzman comes right across in front of us and cuts us off but we put the foot down we go around the outside at five he gives us the space and lets us go p3 now we're on the podium 12 and a half laps in great pass still got almost two-thirds of this race to go but there's good signs that we may be in the points here today running on the mediums at the moment as we go oh, a little bit wide there at 10 for a new strategy option. into the wall some minor damage there it doesn't Copy. seem to be affecting us too much we're gonna stay out we're gonna see what we can do with this we don't want to go in to the pits yet otherwise we'll, we will have to box uh, for a third time later on or go on to the hards. We don't want to go on the hards. We want to stick to the mediums. Car seems to be handling alright. So hopefully we can stretch this stint out long enough that we can go on to another set of mediums which will take us through to the end of this race. Lap 17 now. We've managed to cut down the gap to Verstappen by down to two and a half we're just under two and a half seconds we've still got plenty of speed and car seems to be handling fine we've still got plenty of downforce so that issue with the front wing doesn't seem to be causing us too much grief okay you're catching the car ahead all right gaps now two seconds to Verstappen we've now increased the gap to Bottas to a full second so hopefully back by about three tenths a lap Thanks for that, Jeff. Hopefully that means we can keep him out of DRS as we get uh, a track limits warning there. A turn three. We go purple in sector one. One and a half seconds to max now. 1.7 to Bottas. So we are gaining on Verstappen. We could be on the fastest lap here with the way that we're going. We'll see here at the split for sector two slow us through sector two down half a second so we have lost quite a bit of time as we go wide at 10 we accelerate a little bit early and we end up in the wall and now we are definitely going to have to box that looks like a lot of damage lap 18 so we will have another we have 17 laps to go 
So we'll box. On to mediums. The mediums only projected to really last us 14 laps at best. But we hopefully with our uh, tire wear upgrades that we have, exit, exit now. hopefully we'll be able to stretch them out a little bit longer. Ideally the full 17 laps get to the end of the race. Sure thing Jeff, that's the plan as we come out of the pit lane we re we rejoin the race in P11. So we're so we we're still we're still in reach. 17 laps. We're only one position outside the points, and the way that we've been racing today, I'm I'm pretty confident we should be able to get a points finish today. Lap 20 now, we're purple through sector 1, we're red through sector 2, we come right behind Alonso, we're lucky not to take any front wing damage there as we just tap the back of the Alpine. We're only point, we're only one tenth of a second down through sector 2. DRS enabled. We might be able to get a fastest lap here if we can do pull this off right, we go up the inside of Alonso, it's a long shot, we end up having to cut the corner. Okay, this is Jeff. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the stewards will award you a penalty. Sure thing. I mean, we did it. We, uh, I suppose we have cut yeah, two corners. Behind is 5.8 seconds. 5.8 seconds because we have one track limits warning and one corner cutting warning. So, you know, as we almost, by well, things, got another track limits warning there. Put the foot down here at turn 5, we've got the inside of Alonso at turn 6, it's a late dive but we managed to hold on, we did actually end up cutting him off there, didn't nice give him the room, Good job. but we managed to get the job done anyway, so uh, Rosberg was 5 seconds behind us at the beginning of the previous lap, uh, well in, in front of us probably, no, uh, behind us. As we just get a fastest lap now, a 113.596. So, uh, what's that? I think it was like uh, one and a half tenths to Bottas. I think he did a 113.7. So, so at least a tenth faster than Bottas on the mediums. Uh, as we now went out to P3. We're only half a second behind Stroll, lap 23, just coming on to lap 24 now, so we've got 12 laps left to get two positions. Max is four and a half seconds ahead of us. We haven't really been gaining a whole lot of time on him, but I think we can, st we're still, we can still possibly catch up to him if Stroll will just get out of the way. So we fly straight past Stroll heading into turn six. Oh, I like you not to get any kind of warning there. We're now P2 with 11 and a half laps to go. Max now four, he's still four and a half seconds up the road. We're gonna, it's going to take a bit of work to catch up to him now. He has already done his his two stops. Okay, he uh, re-entered the race ahead of uh, ahead of us. I think probably like two or three places ahead of us after his last stop. So. That front wing change definitely costing us some time. Max is, uh, yeah, it's finding it hard to catch up to him. As uh, Valtteri Bottas is now out of the session, so that was what that uh, yellow flag was for before. It looks like a mechanical failure because uh, uh, it looks things like on the map. He was slowly uh, coasting down uh, down that uh, first straight. So, not good for um, for Mercedes. Although they are. Is four seconds ahead. Four seconds. The Thanks, officials are Jeff. deploying the safety car oh. due to multiple we've, cars being stopped. We've got a full lap, full delta. safety car now. Your speed, our delta is too low, and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. So, Giovinazzi's out, Ocon's out, and Gasly are all out of this race. I don't I don't know if that's if they, they are connected at all or if it just it's just a happens all happen at once. But three more cars out of this race. And I I 
can see the Alpha Terry on the map. Uh, just parked up on the side where Bot has went, so maybe there's a mechanical failure there for Gazzy. I don't know about the other two. But this is massive. Lap 27, we are now right behind Verstappen. He is on slightly fresher mediums. But with our tyre wear upgrades, we will be able to go to the end. And now that we've had, what, like two laps under safety car, one or two laps, we've, uh... Our tyre wear will, will have diminished a bit. So we, we should be able to go right to the end on these tyres. We shouldn't have any problems. And we've been... We haven't been gaining on Verstappen, but we haven't been losing time to him either, so... In terms of pace, we could be uh, relatively equal with, with the Red Bull. Which should make for an interesting end to this race. So, uh, we had to go one another lap under safety car. As the rest of the cars catch up to the queue, we only have to wait for Mazepin now, but with that hairpin at turn 10, he'll catch up pretty easily. In fact, he's caught up right now. As we almost crashed into the back of Max, we've been too busy looking at the map, and we almost went straight to the back of him. Look how far behind the safety car he is, trying to hold us back potentially, but we are going to have seven laps. Seven laps left of racing. To try and catch up to Max and see if we can claim our first win. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. We're leading our teammate by 5.7 seconds. Thanks, Jeff, but we are not concerned about where Rosberg is right now. All we're concerned about right now is getting ahead of Verstappen. We've come back to Canada after the mechanical failure we had last year, starting on pole, and we now have a chance to win this race with seven laps left to go. We can't catch up to Verstappen there at turn six. We're still with him though, lap 30 now. We've managed to keep right behind him for an entire lap. As we stay a little bit wide, we accelerate a little bit earlier, Max gets a good run out of turn two as well. Here we go, turn three and four, this is where we can gain the time. We get a good run through there. Max comes right across, we're just going to go around the outside, can we get him down into turn 6, Max is right there, but we manage to hold on, we cut him off a little bit, he drops half a second there, to give us the space, and now it's on. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS, DRS is now online. So we finally had DRS re-enabled, so Max didn't have DRS on that last straight, and we've managed to extend out to over a second. If we can keep this gap, Max will have no DRS and it's just going to come down to the pace of the car and possibly down to ERS management as we increase another half a second there through sector 1 on Verstappen, 1.7 seconds now the gap. Lap 31, we've got four and a bit laps left, we've just got to hold on to this, no mistakes, we can't afford uh, any more mistakes. I think we have, at this point, two track limit warnings. So if we exceed track limits again, we'll be handing the victory to Verstappen as we come down the back straight. We've got open air, 1.9 seconds now to Verstappen. He can't close that gap. I don't think he'll have enough to catch up to us if we keep racing the way we have. And we almost hit the wall. Oh, that could have been costly. That could have been what Max needed to catch up, and we get a faster slap at lap 31. The gap, has started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. the gap is now two seconds, Jeff. Max is going to have to pull something out to try and catch up to us, but it looks like he won't be able to do it. Lap 35, we come around turn 10. We've got two straights and one chicane left in Verstappen. There's 3.9 seconds behind us. Down the straight. After all the failures, and all the mistakes that we've made, and all the results we've got over the last however many rounds it's been, and after the mechanical failure last season, starting at pole and having to retire, we come back in Season 2 and pick up a victory! Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. We've finally done it. We've managed not only to get on the podium, but to get a victory for Cross GT Racing here in Season 2.
Here we are then, a real team effort to overcome their rivals for a memorable win here today. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. What a race. What a performance. Couple of minor slip ups which caused that front wing change, but other than that, just overall dominance. At least that's what I think anyway. I might be a little bit biased considering I was driving, but look at that. Cross GT Racing at the top. P1 and the fastest lap, the full 26 points. Verstappen finishing second, Lewis Hamilton finishing in third. And Rosberg ended up finishing in P14. But what a result for us and for Cross GT Racing here at the Canadian Grand Prix. Redemption over the retirement last year where we started on pole. As we take a look at the DNFs, so Valtteri Bottas and Pierre Gasly, both mechanical failures. Antonio Giovinazzi, terminal damage, so... I'm assuming he crashed out and uh, Ocon must have crashed into the back of him, causing both retirements there. We've leapfrogged into 8th ahead of Charles Leclerc in the driver standings. Verstappen and Sergio Perez jump ahead of Bottas after his retirement. Lewis Hamilton still at the top on 118 points. 32 points clear of Verstappen. Let's just take a look at the constructor standings. Red Bull have closed the gap now. 27 points the difference between them and Mercedes. McLaren in third on 70, uh, 75 points behind Mercedes. So only double digits dividing the uh, the difference between the top three. We've managed to jump all the way up into fifth now. Nine points clear of Alpine. Well, that. What a race weekend. What what a race, what a performance we had there. I knew this car had what it takes to to get in the points. We've we've been showcasing the performance through the last what five rounds. But small mistakes have been causing us point uh, costing us points. But then we come to Canada. And we show exactly what we can do and how how good this car is. And we walk away not only with some championship points, not only with a podium, but with a race win. Our very first win here in my team career mode. Hopefully not the only win that we get. But man, what, what a race. What, what a performance we had today. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, please do leave a like, comment below, let me know what you thought, let me know what you think we need to do going forward. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you, if you subscribe to the channel, it would help me out a lot. And, Oh, I can't, I just, I'm lost for words, I can't, I just can't believe we won the race. Hopefully we can win some more, hopefully we do, uh, we do well in the next round in the French Grand Prix. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope to see you all in the next one.